<laughs> what? <coughs> Whoa! Paddle boat! <laughs> Everybody and welcome to the woods outside of uh, Bemidji, Minnesota, home of Sherp USA. And this is Josh Kapisky. Yes, sir. Kapisky, I got it right. Josh Kapisky. Uh, his nephew Evan hit me up on Instagram and said, "Do you remember them crazy Russian tank-looking things that you saw on YouTube a couple years ago? My uncle is the dealer." And I'm like, "Yes." So here we are at, uh, at Josh's property in Minnesota, uh, and you are Sherp USA, for yes, lack sir. of a better word. <laughs> so, uh, what's a Sherp? <laughs> it's the most ultimate off-road vehicle you could ever imagine. It is. If you, vi if you see a picture of one, it's even better. It's 2,800 pounds. It's a, it's a steel and aluminum hull that's watertight, yep. basically watertight. Yes, sir. Uh, with a flat bottom, 63-inch off-road paddle tires with a central tire inflation system. As a matter of fact, let's close the valve. Vertical's closed, right? Horizontal's, Horizontal's closed. Horizontal's open to inflate. Horizontal's open. We're going to hit the inflator. And what it's doing, I'm going to rev up the engine. And it will inflate these giant 63-inch tires, not using a compressor, but by actually diverting the engine's exhaust into the tires. So it's actually, uh, it can inflate the tires from dead to um, the street level in what, 30 seconds? Yes, sir. 30 seconds! Anyone who's ever been in a Hummer knows exactly how impressive that is. And uh, we are gonna drive a little bit down a dirt road and then do some bogging in the Sherp. So what do we need again for uh, 150 for dirt? That'd be great. So I'm actually on the accelerator in neutral right now, literally just driving exhaust gases into the tires as the vehicle raises an extra foot. What's our total ground clearance, Josh? Two feet. Two feet clear. And that's with a totally flat bottom. Speaking of the flat bottom, something I learned is very cool about this vehicle, because it floats, compressor off, and valve closed, now we're good, right? Yes, sir. Because it floats, you could have a mechanical while floating, therefore, anything that could break or need a servicing in this vehicle is is access from in the vehicle. Yes, sir. So worst case, you're floating in a lake, you break down, you have to, f the engine's right here. So you can fix it all from inside. I actually have to do a bit of reversing. Uh, I have to make a reverse U-turn in order to, uh, to go the way we need to go. So the drivetrain is very interesting on this, okay? And now, if, correct me, Josh, it's a Kubota? Kubota? Yep. It's a Kubota four-cylinder diesel. How much horsepower? 44 horse. 44 horsepower, moving 2,800 pounds. It's a five-speed manual, and I'm gonna go through the gears right now as we go down this dirt road a little bit. Five-speed manual with a clutch and a regular shifter like you from a car, and then you steer it tank style. So you have your two levers, and each one is a brake for either side. Now, there's a sort of a two position switch in each of these. There's first a clutch, so if you pull it a little bit, it just disconnects the drive from that side, and then if you pull it more, it physically breaks the side. Am I, am I correct so yes, far, sir? 100%. And uh, so you drive it just by giving it little bits of tension on either stick, one-handed, pretty much. I'll go up into my fifth right now. I'm in fourth, there's fifth. Top speed is 30 miles an hour. Not really street legal. You can get a, like a farm equipment exemption or something, oh, yeah. right? So if you can drive a tractor on the street, you can drive one of these with the little triangle. But this is designed, uh, it was designed basically for pretty much what we are gonna do now and what we did this morning. This morning we broke through uh, a frozen lake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <coughs> Whoa! Paddle boat! <laughs> and it was the coolest. Now we're over here in, uh, that was from my story in Road and Track. Now we're over here in this bog 
He's taught me to drive it. It took me like, what, 20 minutes to learn how to drive Not this even. thing. It's very easy. I'm just using the throttle. We're driving on snow in second gear. I'm gonna go up to third because we've got some, some room here. You can even go like kind of quick on snow. Like This thing mobs. Like, they drove one of these 10,000 kilometers off-road across Russia, from Western Russia to the Pacific Ocean. It has a, what was that? Four world records. I don't know what they are, but that sounds good gnarly. <laughs> um, you know, it has heat in here. It has a, 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 the, the regular, you know, cabin heater from the engine, as well as a separate turbine heater, so you can sleep in it without uh, requiring, you know, heat. And now we're going in the bog. We're just gonna, there's just a couple of reeds. It's not a problem. They're not sacred. This water here is, ice water, and I'll go even a little more to the left, we'll break through some ice. We're just gonna crunch right through this stuff. How cold is this water, Josh? Yeah, it's cold and freezing. Yeah, it's freezing water. It's ridiculously yeah. cold. So this right now, can I go over here? Oh yeah. This is extremely undramatic. Hands off, chilling, a little bit of throttle, a little bit of levering, heater going, and it's fantastic. There's USB ports in the back. Uh, there's a 12 volt. You could put a radio in if you wanted. The back is sort of semi, uh, it's, it's, it's bare, but it's utilitarian, right? There's these yeah. nylon loops. What do they call the loops? That's a Molly 2 web paneling system that yeah. the military uses. Yeah, it basically turns your walls into a pegboard to hang things on yeah. with carabiners. We're driving through what Josh earlier called a bottomless pit swamp. If you dropped a regular 4x in here, it would just pretty much sink into endless mud. And we're just cruising through. This is like, it's so undramatic. It's just Sunday drive. It's amazing. I mean, and the tires, like, the vehicle floats. So like, the t oh, my tires are still up at like 120, by the way. Yeah. Whatever, we're okay. So you could drive it right into the water and it floats and it goes at uh, four, four miles an hour. Yep. And we're just crunching through this ice right now. <laughs> it's just so great. And it's, I gotta tell you, it's really easy. It's, it takes a few minutes to program your muscle memory. But like the visual, like, you know, you drive it in a frozen lake and break through that ice, people like come running. People are like, what is going on? Where's the beaver dam? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you were like, whoa! Dude, you drive off that ice shelf into the water. It's crazy. But like, we're just totally... Can I go right here? Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to be too close to that beaver hut. I have a problem. Um, now we're just going to climb out and go over some snow. Really easy stuff. We'll do a little lap around the beaver hill. It's pretty cold up here. This is meant for Siberia, so the heater is really strong. Um, what are some other thing, crazy things you could do with this? Three, uh, clear a three-foot uh, uh, wall. Yeah. But so like, like a highway Jersey barrier, just that's a straight up and over. Yeah. And what else can you do? Knock over a four-inch diameter tree. Straight through a four-inch yeah. diameter tree. Yeah. Rush it just it, there's no stop. <laughs> deep snow. We've driven through eight foot deep snow with this before. Eight feet, of snow. eight feet of snow. Didn't you tell me that in all of these you've sold, you've never sold a, a spare tire? Correct. Yeah. Never had to replace a tire. <laughs> never a spare tire. Oh, and also speaking of wheels and tires, this thing has. Did you say a 2,800 mile range? To 2000. You said you could drive from here in Bemidji to Houston, Texas, yep. and back? And halfway back. <laughs> you can go eight to 10 straight days, 12 hours a day, without having to refuel. So in addition to a very large you know, fuel tank, it has extra fuel drums in the hubs. <laughs> Look at this, they're just mobbing through the hubs, uh, in the hubs of the wheels. So you can store either extra water or fuel yep. in those hubs. We have one client that puts gasoline in one for his generator when he goes on. Oh yeah, trips. there you go. Yeah. And we can just, we're, there, I'm just arbitrarily driving around. I have no direction. I, there's no obstacles uh, other than the beaver hut, which is obviously you don't want to run that over. 
you have given me no direction as to where to put wheels or anything. It's just drive through bog, point sharp. <laughs> point goal machine. It's amazing. I mean, you guys know me. I love weird stuff. This is the king of weird stuff. $120,000 out the door from Josh. And That's plus delivered. delivered. No. That's, delivered? That's delivered? Oh my god, these are way too cheap. $120,000 delivered to your door. Why build a Jeep? Wait, we're gonna go down to first to get out of our hole. And then yoink. Straight up the hill. Easy as that. It's just the best. So, uh, <laughs> 120 grand out the door, sleeps up to four, yep. heated, uh, all your power needs, hatch. Sunroof. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this is gonna be weird, but this opens. So, uh oh, we gotta close it for the shot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that opens, so you can actually get a really nice uh, airflow coming through here. Central tire inflation. It's awesome. Yep. Built in the Ukraine and Canada. Ukraine, yep. then Canada, then to here. Yep. And uh, where can people buy one if they want to get one? Right here. What's the uh, website? Minnesota. Plug in. It's SherpaTV.com. Uh, you can schedule a demonstration with us. Our numbers. Demonstration! Uh, we, demonstration, folks. We got a 500 acre demo track that's the best on the continent. Yeah. And we host people from all 50 states. You do snow, water, mud, rocks, dirt. Ocean. We crush cars. Crushing cars. You can drive over cars. Yep. It's amazing. That thing you saw on the internet, as it turns out, is even better than it was on the internet. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Sherp ATV. Read my story in Road and Track with photography by Puppy Knuckles. I will put the link in the description of the video. Have a good afternoon. I'm going to continue Sherping. Later.